close, but it is. And, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if we hear any more about injuries. Um, I said it a couple months ago, I don't love the idea of Cody Entz sliding out to tackle. I think that's likely to happen anyways. But if you can get Mason Richman or even like a David Davidkov, we've heard good things about Connor Colby. You know, again, I know freshman, I get it. Um, true freshman. But Cody Entz really was elite last year on the interior of that offensive line. You've got Linderbaum in the middle. You want Kyler Schott at one of the guard positions. He's smaller, so he's not going to be a tackle probably. I'd be shocked if he gets any tackle reps, even if Iowa were to get uh, decimated at that position. Um, Cody Entz and Kyler Schott. Justin Britt, you know, he's big enough to maybe be, I don't know if he's taking reps at tackle or not. Um, and then Jack Plum. Jack Plum's a natural tackle, so you stick Jack Plum out there, you know, maybe at left tackle to replace Alaric Jackson. I think most people think Cody Entz is going to be that other tackle, and then you play Britt at guard. But somebody's going to have to play in, in Kyler Schott's spot, and again, arguably the two most difficult games. So we'll see where Kyler's injury is. Uh, moving into the season, I'm high on Mason Richmond. Tom Kakert, a good friend of ours from uh, HawkeyeReport.com, is also high on Mason, but we don't know where he's at. Kirk did make a point to point out Connor Colby's development, who uh, I believe was an early enrollee, so he got a head start on some of the true freshmen um, during the offseason as well. So uh, your thoughts maybe on, on Kyler being hurt early on? Um, that's not the position that you want to see injuries at at offensive guard. No, I just hope he gets back quick because that is uh, an area that, you know, is still, I think, seared in our minds from a couple years ago, having so much trouble there. So um, hopefully if, you know, if he does spend time out, there'll be somebody who can step up, but you want to see him on the field. Yeah, and I think it was clear at Kids Day that Petrus is the quarterback. I, I was It was clear to me before because I don't, I just didn't see Kirk making a change unless he's stinking it up during an actual game, but Padilla and, and Ogan look far behind Petrus right now. And Petrus looked better at Kids Day than he did during the two open practices we saw in the spring. So um, I think there's lots to be excited about right now. Of course, we're excited football's back. Uh, 